Hello and welcome to this tutorial that will show you exactly how to use a keyboard. Now in order to show you what a keyboard is, we'll first have to locate one ourselves. So I'll just see if I can find one lying around. Oh, there's one right here. So this is what you call a keyboard. It's just in some packaging at the moment. So we'll just see if we can take the packaging off. At the top here, just remove the pack this packaging. Now it's very important actually before we get onto the keyboard to actually read the packaging just in case there's anything important that we need to um, understand first. So let's just see what we have here on this packaging. So, oh look, there's there's a picture. Can you can you see this picture here? It looks like someone is trying to sing while wearing the bag. So this has a line through it. So I wouldn't recommend singing with the bag on. So don't do that. Um, the next, the next one is it's a baby. It's a baby just walking around. So if if you have a baby, don't don't put the bag, don't put the bag on the baby's head, or don't let the baby put the bag on its own head, and and just just walk around. In fact, just don't get a baby, because it, by the looks of things, they're more they're more trouble than they're worth. I think that's why the the lines through it. It's basically saying just don't get don't have a baby. Um, not not personal recommendation. I'm just going by what it says here. So please don't slate me, please. Um, the next one picture here is is O4. Um, it's just I don't know. If O4 it could mean anything. Um, it's like triangles and there's arrows going one one way. Um, I don't know if that's some sort of Illuminati uh, thing. I, I really wouldn't be able to tell you that, unfortunately. Um, the next one. Um, it's a square. It's a square with some symbols and more arrows. More arrows, but there's only two arrows here. Here there were three arrows, so that's something just to make a make a note of that there's less arrows in this picture. And the final one is uh, is, is another one. It's just more arrows um, and some text at the bottom. Um, so that covers the plastic bag in which the keyboard was. Um, located in. So we've discussed this, we've discussed everything to do with that, so we can just discard that. Okay, the next thing will be to go through the keyboard, because I'm sure that's why you're all here, because you want to know about the keyboard, not, not, not the plastic that I just wasted loads of time showing you about. But it's fine, we'll move swiftly on. So this is a keyboard. Um, you're probably wondering what on earth is the point of it, what is it for, what does it do? Well, I'm glad you would ask that because it's actually used to to like you, you type. You use fingers and you, and you type stuff on it like this. Maybe not exactly like this because the keyboard um, you you would be facing the keyboard normally. Um, but I, I can just do this as a demonstration for you, so so you, so you know what what it's for. And um, you use it to connect it to your computer. So you have to use some advanced degree science or, or something to, to connect, to find a way to connect this to your computer. If, if you don't know how to do it, um, don't get a computer. Um, you, or, or you could always phone for help. Just, I don't know, just call, call someone. If you don't know anyone, just, just shout. Just shout help, help, I need help. Okay, so that covers um, that. Now I'll just go through a quick description of this particular keyboard that I'm using, just so you're all familiar with it. And if you happen to have uh, one very similar to this, then that will be very useful to you. So I'm just gonna run through it very, very quickly, very quickly, we don't have a lot of time. Just, so I'm just gonna run through it. So here is gray or silver, bit of silver at the top here and like around the other sides. The keys, these are called keys, and they're, they're all like black, black keys. Um, and uh, also, it's very slim. Look, look at that. Look how slim it is. It's quite slim. And then on the back hand side, there's some text here. As you can see, there's a bit, bit of text. It's, it's a sticker. I, I tried to peel it off, but I, it's just impossible. Um, they, they probably like glued it down with like Pritt stick or something, but it's just impossible to, to tear off. Um, and then there's a few other features that you might have noticed here. Here, here, there's a screw. There's a screw there. There's one there, and there's, there's a few more round, round, round the side. I don't know what that's for. It's probably just design. 
but uh, you know, I, I tried to scratch scratch through the, the, the screws by uh, just to no avail. It just doesn't work. I don't have uh, strong enough um, nails to, to to go through the to go through these nails. So that's just unfortunate. So that pretty much covers the description of this keyboard. Now you'll probably notice, I don't know if you can see, let's just move this a bit closer, that there are actually um, things written on the actual keys themselves. For example, if we take a random key, for example, like, not that one, this one, it has an O, it has an O there. So, so they all have something different written on them. And the reason for that is that when you press the key, it will link to your computer use it using science and it, it will type whatever you whatever you press now i haven't actually figured out how to link this to my computer so if i press this like nothing happens nothing's happening on your screen at the moment except for me just pressing which um i it's, it's a shame um it's just I, I i really don't know how how anyone is supposed to operate one of these things how, how to get it working on on a computer so I'm at a loss. If, if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments and, and I'll, I'll be extremely grateful for that. So as we can see here, here are mainly like letters. There's a lot of letters going on here and they're in like no order, which is really, which is really stupid. It's a really poor design of the developers. They should have put it in an order that is similar to the alphabet, like A, this should be, that should be an A, that should be a B, C, and then D, possibly an E there, and, and so forth. I think that would be a, a lot easier um, because at, at the moment you have to go through each one to find out where, where the letter is. Um, it's, it's very confusing and very strenuous and a lot of people just don't have the time. As you can see, I'm just going through this tutorial really quickly so that you can learn for yourself how to use this keyboard. But at, it's, I don't know if it's worth the trouble, to be honest, with, with all these jumbled keys all, all over the place. Once, once you have your own keyboard and you connect it to your computer, then you, you start pressing and you'll think, what, are, what am I doing? I don't, I don't, I can't type a word. I can't type anything that I want because the keys are all jumbled up. So you may be able to find a way to pick up the keys uh, directly from the keyboard and place them in a, in a, in a spot that you, that you would like. Again, that will take up more time. It will take up a lot of time. So just, if you can, just try and learn the keys as they are written on the keyboard at the moment. And eventually you, you'll be able to pick it up. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm sure um, you, you'll, you'll give it a good go at least. So we've covered the letters. There's also numbers. Now these are actually arranged in some form of order. So I have to give the developers props where it's due. So here we can see one and then followed by two, followed by three and four and five and so forth, all, all the way across the top here. And to, to make things even easier, there's also numbers here at the bottom as well. So the developers really like to help people who are not very good with numbers but they kind of screw over everyone who um, is kind of like struggling with letters. They, they just don't like to help people with letters, but numbers in order. Letters, not so, not so in order. Now there's also some useful features right at the top here. And if you see for F3, I don't know if you can see F3, but there's a crescent moon. So you can, you can press that and it will give you a crescent moon. So there, there is some, some good symbols at the top. Now the very final feature of this keyboard is this long bar at the bottom here. Now you're probably wondering what, what this is called. It's called a long bar and it's used to press. You press like this, it makes, it makes a good noise, unlike the other keys. The other keys don't make that much of a noise, but this one, that makes a full on noise. You can hear that. And the reason why this long bar is here is when you type a letter, like this, you, you press the long bar to make the really irritating noise over and over again. So, you know, it's, it's really good to annoy people if, you, if, you, if that's what you wish to do. So that pretty much covers all of the keys on this keyboard and pretty much covers the tutorial um, altogether. So I hope you now have a good understanding of keyboards and I hope you'll be able to learn yourself how to use a keyboard now that I've given this tutorial to you. 
If there are any other tutorials that you would like me to go through, then please let me know in the comments section and I'll happily go through them with you, providing that I decide to make a tutorial video on that particular topic in question. But until then, I will see you later and good luck with your newfound learning abilities of this particular product. See you later.